He's a fresh faced young man. He's got nice lips and good hair. Who leave him, like leave a, him alone. He looks say. like Linguini from Ratatouille. That's fine. All right, continue. I'm sorry to But interrupt. I mean, it's an awful sex scene. Like, it might be as bad as the sex scene in Showgirls. Oh, you really? Remember that movie? Yes. In the pool, that scene? Yeah, in the pool scene where she's like throwing herself <laughs> yeah. back and it looks like she's having a seizure. Oh, yeah. That's what you I mean, watch Brady's that. girlfriend is riding this poor fella like Sea Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Our lovable in house, youngest, fresh faced, sweet Southern intern, Isaiah. We got him reviewing stuff. We got a new segment where he basically, I make him watch things he wouldn't normally watch, and he has to talk about it and give us a little book report. Uh, we have an opening for that segment. Yeah, here we go. Let's, this is it. Have y'all seen this one? We got to think of a thing for you to say at the end of it right there, right? So be thinking of that. All right, uh, Mr. Isaiah, take it away. What you've been watching, give us a recap. Give us a redneck review. So I watched, se- uh, I was about to say Sex in the City, but it's And Just Like That, yeah. episode two. Okay, yeah. So And Just Like That, I want to gouge my eyes out with a butcher knife. Oh, no, still not happy. Okay. No, I'm still not happy. The opening scene is a sex scene with Miranda's son, Brady, who kind of looks like Alf. Fredo from Ratatouille. Have you ever seen that movie? <laughs> no, I, I don't think I have. I think has a side-by-side side comparison. There oh, no, yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. two. Yeah. So that's Brady, right? He, so, yeah, Brady was having sex with... With his girlfriend. Okay. And the sex scene is awful. It's as bad as the sex scene... Well, in hang the, on, just real quick. Huh? Put a pin in that. <laughs> uh, listen, just because he's a ginger don't mean it's disgusting when we make love. <laughs> Okay, I can't help but notice a little similarity here. He's a fresh-faced young man. He's got nice lips and good hair. Who leave him, like leave a, him alone. Who I looks say. like Linguini from Ratatouille? That's fine. All right, continue. I'm sorry, to but interrupt. I mean it's an awful sex scene. Like it might be as bad as the sex scene in Showgirls. Oh, you remember really? That movie? Yes, that I was mean, ridiculous. I remember uh, in the pool that scene. Yeah, in the pool scene where she's like throwing herself <laughs> yeah. back and it looks like she's having a seizure. Oh, yeah. That's what you I mean, Brady's that. girlfriend is riding this poor fella like Sea Biscuit. <laughs> okay. okay. I mean, it, like I said, it looks like the chick is having a seizure while they're doing the horizontal mambo. And the bad part about this whole scene is that Miranda and her husband Steve have to listen to their son do the hippity dippity with his girlfriend. <laughs> Well, it's only bad for Miranda because Steve is so deaf, he, could, he couldn't hear a dump truck driving through a nitroglycerin plant. Oh. To quote uh, William Hickey in Christmas Vacation. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's you right. You remember that part? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the old man. Yeah, it's the old yeah, man. Yeah, the old man, yeah. Nitroglycerin plant. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I remember that. Then later on in the show, Carrie is looking at a place to bury Mr. Big Man. Oh, yeah. And this got me thinking how I would want to be buried. Oh, okay. Yep. And I think... Like I when you die, we were just talking about what would happen if I died. You're saying if you died, how would you want to be buried? So I think I would like to be buried like Popcorn Sutton. Do you know who that is? Wait a minute. Isn't that a moonshiner dude? Yeah, he's a moonshiner from Maggie Valley, which is where he's buried. So I say we take a little road trip sometime. Okay. How's he buried, though? Oh, so he's buried upside down so he can tell the world to kiss his ass. Yeah, I might as well do that. <laughs> I mean, if, yeah, maybe even leave a little bit of a mound where that's my butt. So you could just kind of come over and like sweep some dirt <laughs> off, remove a plant and then kiss it and put it back or something. Well, my uncle Hoot, he want, I told Elliot <laughs> this. Yeah, I have a great uncle named Hoot. What? <laughs> Hang on a minute. Is this a fact? This is a fact. Your uncle, Hoot? Yeah. How does he spell his name? H-O-O-T. Hoot. Like the owl. Yep, like the owl. How do you spell, real quick, one of the other interns, look up Hootenanny. 
How do you spell Hootenanny? H O O T. You're not looking it up. You're just giving me. Oh, I'm sorry. You I, know I this for a fact. <laughs> well, of course. Oh, please. H O O T E N A N N Y. Is your uncle's middle name a nanny? <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Hoot that would be funny. Okay, but no, so, that wasn't his middle name. Why, why is he named Hoot? Yeah, uh, that was just a nickname they gave. Oh, him it was a nickname. Okay, was a Hoot. Yeah. Okay. And I hope my uncle is listening to this so he can back me up. It's because it's actually a great great uncle. But anyway, he always said he wanted to be buried in a shallow grave with his pecker sticking up out the ground and a mason jar over it. Okay. Why, oh, why is that? Did I said that? No, no, it's fine. I don't know. It was just some crazy saying that. Did you not read this before he... Uh, I, I, I want him to have this? free reign. This is a young man. He's got funny thoughts. So this is a fact. Your Uncle Hoot wants to be married with his he pecker to sticking be up. Buried with his pecker. So he's not dead up. yet. No, he died. Oh, and that's how he wanted to be buried. But they didn't fulfill his wishes. No, they didn't but fulfill why, his why, wishes. Why would he want? I'm just curious why he would want. <laughs> why he would want to be yeah, buried his, in with his in a mason jar? Did he do moonshine? No. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure he drank yeah, moonshine, probably. but he never was a moon. Well, he must have been proud of it then. You know what I mean? Yeah, he must have been yeah. proud of it, but I'd have to. I, my, I would. I mean, a mason jar would be too small. <laughs> I'd have to get one of them dang water cooler things. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. One of those igloo coolers. Yeah, right, right, right. So let's skip to about twenty one minutes into the show mm-hmm. because there really wasn't a whole lot going on up until this point. Okay. So twenty one minutes into the show, they're having Mister Big Man's funeral service. And it's fancy and chic because nobody in this daggum show knows how to be simple and country and well, the stuff yeah. that I like. That's New York. Heck, Mr. Big Man's casket has flowers on them. Okay. No man wants flowers on his casket. Do you, would you want I flowers don't, I on I mean, your I'll casket? be dead. I won't, I don't, it won't bother me. I mean, if, if somebody puts flowers on my casket, I'm going to haunt them for all eternity. Just saying. Wow. Okay. Well, note to self. <laughs> No, no flowers. Possibly penis in a jar. <laughs> yeah, possibly a penis okay. in a mason well, jar. But. Let me know how to do it. Okay, go ahead. But anyway, Miranda gets up and gives a speech, and it's a speech that Carrie wrote, which is Mr. Big's wife okay. or widow, and um, because she doesn't believe in winging it, apparently. Which, by the w- way, winging it. Yeah, winging it. Oh, I thought you said wean. No, like winging it. <laughs> which I'm a pro at, by the way. Like I'm winging it or winging it? Yeah, winging it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I like a winging it. Go so ahead. then uh, yeah. Mr. Big's, Mr. Big Man's little brother, Little Big Man, no, that ain't his actual name. Let's do your nickname. Uh, gives a speech, and it's short, sweet, and to the point. Then they play Mr. Big Man's memorial video, and they're playing Todd Rundgren for background music. Yeah. And the more I hear this fella sing, the more I hate him. Todd Rundgren? I, yeah, Todd Rundgren. Okay. Like well, hang I, on. Keep uh-huh. your spot there. I want to ask uh, one of our interns who didn't know who Todd Rundgren was last time. Have you done your homework now? Do you know who we're talking about? And do you like it? And do you, what do you think of his opinion of Todd Rundgren? Go, Elliot. I am no more educated on the subject than last week. I apologize. It's been a very, very, visit, very busy week for me. So, yeah. All right. Has anybody in this room Ball? listened to thoughts on Rundgren? Rundgren. I, I no looked, thoughts? I looked him up, but I didn't wow. see anything. Wow, I can't believe that. I thought he was a big name. All right, go ahead. Well, I'm the sorry. song was Hello, It's Me. Yeah. But anyway, it, Hello, It's Me sucks. Um, like, I would rather stare at the sun till my eyes melted than listen to this guy's music. Okay, wow. <laughs> Play so, some bluegrass or country, people. Come look, on. we just we know they're not going to do that. It's New York, and it's that it was Mr. Big's thing, right? He liked Runger. right. Remember, he, he sang it to her uh, last time in he, the kitchen. Yeah, he yeah. serenaded her with yeah. his crappy voice. Yeah, yeah, it was a little was, bizarre. Yeah, I get it. I mean, have these poor, citified, yuppie people ever heard of Ralph Stanley? <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait a minute. Not. I don't know if I've heard of Ralph Stanley. You've never. Is heard that from of Kiss? <laughs> Is that from Kiss? That's, that's Paul's uncle. Paul Paul Stanley's uncle, Ralph? You have to be kidding. From A Christmas Story? You no. have to be kidding. Me. I don't know. You've Maybe if heard I heard his music, I would know it. Is of, it Bluegrass? Yeah, he's Bluegrass. I don't know all the names. You've never heard of me? I may have. I listen to the Bluegrass channel sometimes on Sirius XM, but I don't always look at the names. There's a chance I know and like this person. I'm sorry. So it's, he, I put the ish and country-ish. He's the country. Yeah. I'm the ish. You're the ish. Totally. Yeah. All right, go ahead. So, uh, well, 
He is uh, Paul number Stanley. one hit. No, Ralph, Ralph Stanley. I was quizzing you. His number one hit was a song called Man of Constant Sorrow. Oh, yeah. Of course. Hi, <laughs> I'm a man of constant <laughs> sorrow. Yeah. What movie was that? That's uh, uh, Old Brother Where Art yeah, Mouse. Yeah. yeah. It's a great movie. And my granny actually grew up next to Ralph and his brother Carter. No so kidding. Was, yep. Small world. Hmm. Yeah, they're not going to play that in New York at a New York. No, they ain't going to play that at a New York feud. But they should. Sure, of course. Because it's better than Todd Rundgren. I ain't going to argue with you there. So, anyways, right after this is when the show starts to get good. Finally. (gasps) Oh, okay. So after the funeral is over with, everybody and their brother is coming up to Carrie and giving their condolences to Carrie. And Miranda finds her son, Brady, smoking weed with the non-binary Mexican lesbian. Say that three times fast. <laughs> Wait, hang on. I'm going to see if I can say it like you. Non-binary Mexican lesbian. <laughs> non-binary Mexican lesbian. It's hard to do. You're right. It is hard to do. And, of course, I love this part. Like, that was my favorite part of the whole show. Oh, because she's smoking weed. Yeah, this sounds like my kind of funeral. (laughs) Screw all the fancy stuff and then the black hats and the black dresses and everything. Everybody needs to take a hit off the pipe. (laughs) (laughs) Well, we know what kind of funeral we're going to have for you. If you were to die before me, all right, we're going to have, obviously, there's got to be weed, I guess. (laughs) Moonshine, um, no flowers. No flowers. Definitely no flowers. No flowers or I'll haunt you. I know. Unless right. it's bu- a flower from a bud. That's there we right. go. I'd like that flower. But, I mean, I know if I was there, I'd be taking the head off Shay's pipe. I'm sure you would. And Miranda disapproves of her son smoking reefer because she's a fuddy-duddy. Oh, yeah. And a fun sucker. She's already my least favorite character because she's the drizzling turd in the punch bowl. You like the drizzling turd, right? That's, uh, we've said that a couple yeah, times. That's that a, a fun thing. Times. Maybe that's a t-shirt for you, drizzling turds. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the drizzling turds. <laughs> All right, so the, I'm happy to hear you like a, a little something there. Right. Yeah. And the Mexican lesbian, Shay, yeah. is my favorite character because she brings weed everywhere she goes. <laughs> yeah. Well, then, they, Okay, go ahead. Then what happened after that didn't really intrigue me much. Carrie gets Mr. Big Man's ashes, and she and Charlotte get into a kerfuffle, Mm -hmm. which, by the way, is a fun word to say. Say that real quick. Kerfuffle. I like it. Is it not a fun word to say? Kerfuffle is a great word. Do you know how to spell it? K-E-R-F-U-F. F F L E. I don't, actually right? don't know the answer to it. I was asking because I don't. Yeah, know. that's how I have it typed out here. So. Uh, but, okay, good. Good All right, so, all right. Uh, out of uh, we're gauging this, your interest with um, figure fours. Uh, four figure fours is the best. Zero figure fours is the worst. How many figure fours are we given? See episode two of and just like that. Last episode he gave it. They give it zero. Zero. Yeah. yeah. So I'm actually going a little up on this and going 1.9. Did you say out of five? No, out of four, figure four. Out of four. Because it's a so, figure four. I figure right. we stop at four One, being the yeah. best. So yeah. I'll give it a 1.9. What? Round it off. Let's give him a two. Come on. All right, we'll give him a two. Nope. I'm not giving it a two. All right. 1.9. So 1.9 figure fours. All right. Well, we're improving a little bit. Well, the rest of the show was the drizzling turds, except for Shay getting high at the funeral. Okay. I mean, she needs to pass me the ball. Come on, Shay. What are we (laughs) waiting on? Shay, get on that. (laughs) You you have an open invitation to come to Country-ish anytime and uh, give my intern here. I mean, I can't condone this behavior. This is what he does on his own, folks. I, I don't want you to think that I'm influencing this young man. This is what he brought to the table. Okay, and thank you, Isaiah. Uh, hit the clap button for yourself. All right, that was a redneck recap <laughs> with intern Isaiah. Appreciate you. All right. Hey, it's me again. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked that. If you did, you uh, you should check out the entire episode. It's a blast. And then. If you're going to do that, you might as well subscribe. And then, you know, if you're going to subscribe, you might as well hit the notification bell. All right? And uh, and know that I love you. <laughs>